Hi kids, I hope that you're doing well and that you're enjoying uh, this uh, vacation for Easter that a lot of you are going through right now. Maybe watching some good shows on TV, enjoying some good time with your families. I miss you and I can't wait to see you again. I know that we've been going through the Lord's Prayer where we learn to address God as our Father. And I was trying to encourage all of us to pray this prayer regularly because it's such a wonderful blessing. It has so many good things in it. And today we come to Matthew 6, verse 13, where Jesus says that we should pray, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. This is such an important part of the Lord's Prayer, and we can learn three things from it. The first thing is that we have debt that we need to be forgiven. So debt to God is like our sins. Uh, we sin against God and we need forgiveness. And we remember this, that we do things that we shouldn't do and that we need to find forgiveness from the Lord for those things. The second thing we learn from this is that reminded that Jesus died for our sins and rose again from the dead. So in Jesus Christ, we have the forgiveness of our sins, and we can be happy and rejoice in that. And then the third thing is that we're supposed to forgive others as well. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So that's about people who sin against us, who do things that we don't like in our lives that are against us, and we need to be willing to forgive them because the Lord has forgiven us. So as we do these things, as we forgive others, we're going to be blessed. Now I know it goes against what we sometimes think. We sometimes think, well, if someone does something against me, I need to get back at them. But that's not how the Lord would want us to behave. The Lord wants us to extend his forgiveness to others because he forgives us. Because when you forgive other people, you're being like God is to you, loving and patient and kind. So let's do this, kids. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer right now together. Uh, let's get used to praying it. We're going to pray it together, and then I'm going to pray for you in your life. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, thank you that we could pray to you. Thank you for being our Father. And Father, I pray for each of these, our youth, Lord, each one who's watching this, that you would embrace and forgive and help and heal them in their lives. Take care of them, Lord, during this time. Help them to have enjoyable times with their family, be able to call their friends, and enjoy good things that you have for them. Lord, bless them and uh, bring us back together soon so that we can see each other play and enjoy being with one another. I pray these things, Father, in Jesus' name, amen.